which is just going to be the the results because the buckets are the same so i'm going to then say let's hit the uh add data and then we'll call the series name i'll just say w and then we pick up the data and again we just need the data size we don't need the bucket so i'm just going to select the data here in bt uh, bt2 and control shift down that's the entire data so i'm going to say okay and so now we've got these two data series and i'm going to say okay let's see what that does and now we've got these two that have been populated on the same graph so that which makes kind of sense so now we've got this one right we can see the middle point here uh is at is at the 64 about which you'll recall if we go over to our histogram for the women's data around 64 the histogram for the men uh or the whole thing we're, we're imagine men 67 so the second middle point uh is you know around that 67 right so obviously this one is very very similar looking because we just took we just basically took the two two data sets and multiplied one data set times point uh, nine five but you could see you know how they would be how you could basically plot two line items on the same graph now once we have these you might then want some uh labels on something like this so we might then go okay let's see if i can say the plus button and we might want uh we might want a legend for this one so we could add uh, a legend so we've got series one and series two and then within the legend we could rename those datas so if i go into the chart design and uh i say i say select data then i can rename the series names up here by editing series one which i might want to edit and just call it men and then okay and then series two edit and call the name women uh or you might take it actually from here as well and say okay that'd probably be a better way to do it so so there we have that and then you could do the same formatting with your datas and make them a little bit uh, wider if you wanted to so you could go into your your data and we can go into the width and see if i can change it to 0.25 and so now it's changing one line at a time so sometimes it gets a little finicky control z control uh to to change the data of all of the data set when you have multiple items on it so there i was able to adjust it a little to make it a little bit wider over there so you can kind of uh, tinker with that but you can see here that they have them spaced out so you can see the two on the overlap now you could select uh, the datas and change the the fill color of the data so that it's you know a lighter data set if you so choose or you can have uh, the no fill solid fill and adjust that the gradient fill so you might choose you know different fill patterns uh, which could help with basically the overlap so here's different fill patterns that you can have uh, that might might help to emphasize one of the data sets versus the other data set. So you can play with those. And automatic. So those are the those are the so I'll stop it here so we don't run too long, but you have the normal kind of formatting tools. It's just when you have two the two data sets on one graph, then uh, you, you might do some of the tools to kind of highlight one data set versus the other data set. You might play more with the colors of the data set uh, on them. So let's go back on over here and just do our normal formatting. I'm going to select the entire uh, data set and let's just make it blue and bold some or blue and bordered home tab font group border and then blue. And then let's select this data set and do the same thing. I'll just say font blue and border. And so that looks good. And then over here, uh, we just took that whole data set. So that looks good. So that's the, that's the general idea.